What's going on, guys? It's your boy, John the Liquidator, coming back with another video. And it looked like Charles Barkley is the latest person to speak out against the Los Angeles Lakers for their handling of Bronny James. Guys, for this one here, we got to go to L.A. Let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> Bronny James has definitely been the talk of discussion throughout the duration of this 2024 basketball season. And I'm here to tell you, many fans is not happy about Bronny, bro. That could be part of the reason why the NBA viewership is at a decline. Views is down 28% from last year. And I'm here to tell you now, it ain't looking no better. Now, Stephen A. Smith, you know, he's one that was speaking out about Bronny James a couple of days ago as well. He believed Bronny James is supposed to be in the NBA. Stephen A. just believes he's not supposed to be in the league right now. Now, as for me, I feel like Bronny James was definitely, you know, designed by LeBron to be an NBA player over college. I feel like it might be nerves kind of messing with Bronny James. The reason why we're not seeing him take off the way, you know, he was projected to for the most part. And I feel like anybody bashing this young man is, is just completely wrong, bro. Um at the end of the day, just like he has said, LeBron James definitely deserved to have the opportunity to play with his son. Everything he's done for the league itself, um, is this the right time? I don't know yet, but at the end of the day, people is definitely not happy about Bronny James being in the, in the league. Now, one person who's kind of been on Bronny's side is NBA legend Charles Barkley. Now, Charles Barkley always been vocal about Bronny James, actually being able to play in the league. He's never been one to bash the kid or say that he did not belong in the NBA. Well, this time, Charles Barkley is letting it be known the way the Lakers have been handling the Bronny James situation is simply rhetorical. Now, we know Bronny James is currently going back and forth between G League and the NBA. Never seen this before. Players bouncing back and forth like that. They saying Bronny James is getting special treatment. At the end of the day, bro, he's LeBron James' son, and obviously things are going to be a little different for him. Now, is it right? That's not my call to say it's right or wrong. But one thing I will say, um, he definitely deserved to be in the NBA. Now, with all that being said, let's check out what Charles Barkley had to say about the Lakers' management of Bronny James' road of footage. Of course, he's going to attract a lot of bets. I don't think that's going to come to fruition, but just in terms of how LeBron and the Lakers have handled this whole situation, what are your thoughts on that? They've handled it awful. Um, awful. Um, I, I, I actually, I thought it was a, you know, because it was so fun. I was taping that match uh, with Ken Griffith Jr. about right, way before the season started. And he was telling me him and his dad, we're going to uh, go out for that first game. And then I was with my foolish friends, like, later, like, you think Brian is going to make the opening day rock? I'm like, there's a 100% chance. I said, there's no way in the world Nike is, fly is flying King Griffin Sr. and Jr. out there and Brian they don't get on the game, on the court with his dad. Right, and his dad's I mean, not going to let him play, I said, first right? First of all, that's a, that's, I said, that's a Nike commercial waiting to happen. <laughs> I said, that's waiting to happen. But – I thought it was great, a little ceremonial first game. But the kid's not ready to play in the NBA. And he should be in the G League and uh, so he can play basketball. He's not going to get better sitting on the bench. But also, this thing where he's only going to play home games. That's wild. Not yeah. traveling with the team. It's, yeah. one, no, no, it's wild. If you mean stupid. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's not fair to him. It's not fair to the team. Can you imagine a coach of that team? Like, you come off a road trip, and there's a player you ain't seen in a week or two, and then you feel like you probably got to play him. So I don't think they're doing Bronny any favors, and uh, I, they just handle this thing really bad. It's a bad look for the Lakers. Uh, it's a bad look for the Lakers. I actually think it's a bad look for, I, I, you know, I really like everything LeBron's done. 
but this is a bad look for him, in my opinion. All right, Chuck, we we made a bet about your bets uh, for the day. <laughs> I set the 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 line at two and a half, and I took the under because I assumed you just saw a couple bets you liked, went big, and then just sat back for the rest of the day. Kate and thinks Chuck, it's I over. took the over. So so what is it? What is it? Wait, okay. So so uh, I had um, UConn, Ole Miss, BC. Now that was Charles Barkley speaking about the Bronny James and the Los Angeles Lakers situation. Um, now we did hear that Bronny James will only be playing in G League home games, which has caused debate throughout the NBA. A lot of people were saying Bronny James is getting special treatment. At the end of the day, he is, man. He is. He's LeBron James' son, and they're using Bronny for ticket sales. Is that helping Bronny? No, that's not helping him develop as a basketball player. To me, they're pimping Bronny James out for basketball sales. And, I mean, ticket sales and ratings. Is that going to help him get better on the court? No. What do they need to focus on? Getting Bronny better on the court, dog. Because at the end of the day, everything we have seen the Lakers do with Bronny James has simply been just unbelievable, bro. They need to let this young man develop in the G League. He definitely need to be traveling with his team, just like Charles Barkley said. Because how is he going to get better if he's not? playing away games if he's riding the bench for the Lakers actual team which they doing that I believe he's not traveling because they want him to go back and forth between the Lakers and the G League now, I don't believe they like they're not having him travel because they don't want him to get better they want him to play for the Lakers itself and the G League team for what ticket sales dog all of this thing is about ticket sales Bronny is currently getting pimped out by the NBA this season because of his name, image, and likeness, and pretty much him being LeBron James' son. I'll be the first to tell you, dog, they pimping that young man, and it is not right. He deserved to be developed as a player, just like every other player had the chance to get ready to, you know, transition into the league before they got it to start him. But for some odd reason, they're trying to speed up the process for Bronny James. Not to say that LeBron has anything to do with it, but I really do think he do, bro. Because at the end of the day, this young man needs to be getting better on the basketball court instead of being pimped out for ticket sales and ratings. Now, at the end of the day, is Bronny going to become a successful player? Yes, I believe Bronny will become a successful player. But... We have to wait for Bronny himself to develop his skills to become that successful player we all know he could be. Get down in the comment section. Let me know y'all thoughts about this. Keep them bells on because I'm coming right back with another one. Y'all already know. I'm going to bring you the news. And until next time, dog, shake the haters off. I'm out of here. Peace out.